Hi, I'm Naisha McCauley and you're watching AccessTV.org. Welcome to another episode of The Relationship Show, where we talk about all kinds of things, and it doesn't really have to be about the relationship between a man and a woman, or a husband and a wife. It can be about anything that's relational to you. It could be how you're interacting at work and who's causing strife in your life. It can be, you know, advice about the right man to marry, or when is it enough is enough in a relationship when you guys don't seem to agree. The important thing is we are here to answer your questions and give you some peace of mind about whether you're making the right decisions. Now we're not perfect, we never say we're perfect, but we are guaranteed to give you the best that we possibly can with regards to answering your questions. Now if you'd like to send some questions, send them to the relationship show at yahoo.com and we will do everything in our power to get them on the show. Now, we, we may not get them as soon as you send them to us, but we will definitely add it to our list on our iPad, and we'll do what we can to get it on the show. All right, so let me say hi to friends afar, family, friends afar. I'm so excited. They always are such uplifting and giving me that support. They give you support, too, Oh, yeah, Joe. absolutely, absolutely. They say wonderful things about you, too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I had a, uh, a guy I was talking to maybe like about a week or so. He said, why do you say you're not the marrying kind? You're the marrying kind. Ooh, I go, maybe oh, that's what I am. Oh, I Ooh. said, oh, I am. Then, yeah, you never know. So people are watching. People, people are, are watching because you know what? People are wanting. <laughs> so with me today, I have, as Arjo was talking, Arjo Wench of All Politics is Local. She is an amazing woman who has so much wisdom. And I love to have her on the show because she shares her wisdom so that we can walk away as better people. You like the way I kind of Good. spun Wis that? We have wisdom to share. That's right. So why don't we jump on to some of our questions so we can share some of that wisdom. All right, here's a question. I lost over 80 pounds. I did it by exercising and eating right. I do not have a six pack, more, more of a four pack, LOL. Mm -hmm. How do I show off my new body to the women who were mean to me and call me Michelin man? Is it wrong to be boastful or wrong to want to make them jealous? From Buff Baby. Mm, I would take a, I would take myself a photo. Oh, I would get their addresses and mail it to each and every one of them and go, how you like me now? <laughs> how you like, how you like me, me now? now? Right. <laughs> oh. well, you know, that is so mean that people do it stuff is. like that. People really judge people, mm -hmm. you know, for like stupid stuff. It like is. hair, size. Ju absolutely. Color. You know, people are people and everybody comes in different sizes. I'm mm. trying to shed 20 pounds myself. Oh, Went to the doctor. She told me I was obese, but I, I No, she hurt. did not. She did. Was she an Indian doctor? No, it was military. You know, by your height, they tell you how much oh, you're supposed to weigh. So BMI course, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, so of course I know that. Right. You know? She said, uh, you 24 pounds overweight. I'm like, oh, thank you. Like, I didn't know. Okay. You know? But anyway, to get back to his story, I think that he should. You know, if that makes him feel good and he want to let them know, listen, you mistreated mm -hmm. me because I was, you know, heavy. Yes. Well, you know, look at me now. I'm That's healthy. Right. I'm feeling good about I feel myself. Wonderful. And guess what? You can't go there. That's right. And to add to our job, <laughs> I agree. Add yeah. to our job. And even sometimes, not necessarily sending them something, but if you do, you just recognize that you feel good about yourself. Because at some point, I am very spiritual. I believe it comes full circle. Mm -hmm. And they may run into you on some vein in your life, and they're going to be like, oh my goodness, I saw you at the store. Or, wow, I just saw you. You look great. Because sometimes just walking away and knowing that you look good, that's mm -hmm. all that matters. Okay, okay. All exactly. that matters. Exactly. And the reason why I said Indian doctor is because Indian doctors are very big on making sure that kids are obesity is not prevalent so much mm -hmm, in their country mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so they're very big on making sure that you know you make sure your kids are within that bmi and try not to you know yeah because if they start you know when they're young you know it's hard then it's, it's a, hard to it's a way a of habit. life it, absolutely exactly, exactly absolutely so. so so we hope that you learn from our advice and that uh, you have peace about yourself and congratulations and, yes that's wonderful congratulations wow i wonder if they're eating subway remember the subway man mm -hmm, I was eating subway mm -hmm, all the time mm -hmm. okay how do you end a long-term relationship? 
The reason is they are just negative and mean spirited and gossipy. Mm. I don't want to stop answering the calls and have it slowly slip away. I think the person I'm trying to end the relationship or excuse me, end the friendship diverse deserves to know the reason. How can I do it with integrity without hurting feelings? Just tell them. No, okay. I was going to say, just tell just them. Just tell them. them. Uh, yeah, just tell them. I, you know, listen, we've been, you know, friends for a long time, but you know what? This isn't working out. You know, you're just too negative. I just don't want to be around neg negativity. That's right. And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't doubt what you mm -hmm. feel within yourself. If you don't feel like this person is a, an asset to your life, that, and I'm not saying asset monetarily or anything, I'm saying an asset, like they can bring something, whether it be, you know, positive energy and, or just, you know, uplift and empowerment, all those things are mm -hmm. positive. I consider those assets. Mm -hmm. If they can't bring any of that and they're always taking emotionally, mentally. Right, draining. Yeah, draining. Mm -hmm. Just let tell it go. Kick, look, tell them kick, kick rocks. rocks. <laughs> kick no out. mess and no stress. That's, kick ooh. rocks. You know, just kick rocks. I like that. No, no mess, mess, no stress. That's really mm -hmm. good. So you're doing the right thing. We just recommend that you just think about how you want to say it. Maybe you need to take some time, write something out so you know exactly what you want to say. If you feel that you have a tendency to get all emotional and you may say things out of the emotion, just take a step back. Figure out how you want to say it, where you want to say it. it's also important. Yeah. If you go to a restaurant that's a mutual place where you guys can sit and talk, and then you open up to that person, that can kind of calm things down, too. Yeah, just tell them. Just tell them. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Dear Arjo. What? Why, 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 why am I not? Go, yeah, why am I getting on your show? Okay, what, but anyway. Anyway. Dear Arjo, mm. my reason for joining the military was to serve our nation. Oh, so that's why. Yeah, but I may be. I may. I may have some knowledge about you know, you know, serving. It may. It may not necessarily be about the military, but. Okay, so listen. The moral to the story is: when y'all send questions to the relationship show, send them to a dear Lori. Can you ask? Oh. <laughs> Dear Arjo, my reason for joining the military was to serve our nation, mm -hmm. to help people in the world who were in need. Mm -hmm. I am now no longer part of the Army. I did two tours. I regret ever joining. Wow. Arjo, since you were, you were in, tell me one good thing about our service. Because right now, I cannot. In servitude, not service. Mm. Ooh, this person, yeah, but you why? Know what? The, the, why was because this the military, feeling this way? Yeah, the military is a job like any other job. It's not for everybody. So that's why you have some people that we call it a hitch. You do two years, some do four years. Some, like in my case, I did 24. So you did 24 years? 24 years. 24 years. Wow. So it's not for everybody. It's like you go to a job, you don't like it, you change your job. You right. go in the military, it's not working out for you, you get out. So I don't know what his reasons were for you know getting out early. He said he did two tours or and got out. Or it could be a girl, too. You so know. Well, his or her, yeah. I don't know what the, the, in the Army, so I don't know what the soldiers' uh, reasons for getting out maybe... It had bad supervisors. Maybe right. the leadership wasn't working for him. Maybe it or her. Maybe it didn't do, you know, what they what they wanted it to do. Right. Or the intent that they went in mm -hmm. was not, you know, what they got out. So, right. No, um, I agree. That's tough. And um, so, would you just say, could there just be any words of of hope and wisdom? Like, wh what would you say? Just hang. No. So to to answer the question about why do I think that people should was this question about being in the military or you know what was the encouraging thing that he should say but it. it's, it's just that it's, it's a life yeah you know and, and it's a life that people choose for themselves it works for some people it doesn't work for everybody um people who are into total commitment of servitude it's going to be the excellent soldier mm -hmm. you know the excellent marine the excellent airman people who want to do too much things for themselves right you're not going to make a good military person because it's not about you it's about the multitude okay so the answer was tell me one good thing about serving so that i guess the person just wants to feel like i did it for two tours just tell me something that i should be proud of well because he went in for they went in for the right reasons okay. they went in to serve okay. okay so and then going in to serve what the person found out was this wasn't the type of service that worked for them okay so the fact that the person tried it okay is a wonderful thing okay because many people won't even try that's correct 
Thank you. So you know what? We're, first of all, thank you for serving our country. We appreciate your time because it is about time and commitment. Mm -hmm. And the fact you did do that for two tours, we just want to thank you. Don't lose face. That there was reasons for you being there. So we exactly. should just take and that the experience, and right? the experience yeah. in itself that nobody could ever take away. So thank you. All right. So we have time for a couple more. Okay. I'm finally meeting my fiance's family. We've been dating for three years before he proposed. Well, finally I'm meeting his family. They are in Canada. It's his mother, his two sisters and their partners and about seven children, children ranging in ages. I, a total of 12 people, not including us. He thought it would be great to have a dinner at our place. Too expensive for all of us to go out to dinner. The issue, I cannot cook. <laughs> I use a cookbook and even then the food is horrible. And Ian, my fiance, is an okay cook. So regardless, I want to impress his family. I want to show them I can care for their son, brother, uncle. What can I do? Potluck. From girl. hoping to impress. Potluck. Yeah, but so you're asking them to bring something? Or oh, ask your friends. You know what? I'm having a dinner. Good I'm point. meeting my um, fiance's family for the first time. Girl, hook me up. You yes. Know? Send me your favorite dish. That's right. And then those pieces that may get a little complicated, let's say you want to do a nice, uh, I don't know, nice um, like hors d'oeuvres or have something set prior to the main meal, cater it in. There's nothing yeah, wrong with having certain pieces it. brought in, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um, desserts are great. You could cater to the, the appetizers, do the potluck for the main and, and uh, the side dishes. And then for dessert, yeah, pick desserts up. Desserts are cheap. Yeah. You can go buy those. That's yeah, you cheap. can go to Costco and get a cake. Yeah, cheap. Cake cheap, at cheap. Costco. Although, you know, we're not sponsored by them, so that's some free advertising. So, Costco, if you're listening or watching, it'd be great to get a little sponsorship headed this way. There you go. Send it's a Costco. dime, accesstv.org. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So don't <laughs> lose sight. There are many options out there. You need to open your mind and be a little creative. To Arjo's point, you got friends and family I'm sure would be willing to help out in the mm -hmm. potluck side of the house. Mm -hmm. And then the flip side is you can always do a little bit of reaching out to a caterer to have them bring in some hors d'oeuvres. Maybe like a little nice, um, I don't know, think it up, you know, rolled up with a, what is it, uh, scallops and um, wrapped in bacon. And, I don't know because I don't know scallops. Or what? Or I just thought of something. This is this is gonna work. If you go to some of the stores like Costco, of course, more advertising, they have sections in the frozen food section where you can actually buy frozen appetizers, mm -hmm. from little crab cakes to. But like remember a, now, money is the issue because otherwise they probably would have catered the whole thing. Yeah, but so Costco's money is cheap. The issue. In bulk, you can buy. Well, so is so are several other stores. I almost said I'm not about to give. Listen, these people make millions of dollars. Uh oh, if you get you know, they want advertisement, they need to pay for it. <laughs> Go to your neighborhood stores and find something, or you know what? Call your friends. Say, <laughs> okay. friends, help me out. So she shut me down with the whole idea. I still think she can do it in moderation. Yeah. Appetizers are inexpensive. Don't do appetizers. Look, like you invite them. Oh my God! You invite them to come over and meet you. Did she invite them for dinner, or she invited them to come over and meet her? Okay, then she can pull back and say, "I'm not going to cook dinner. We're just going to have a nice little, um, maybe you know, coffee and some Danish." It better not be after six o'clock, because if it's after six o'clock, they're going to be hungry and looking for <laughs> something in the kitchen. Yeah, right. So, uh, what's that well, in the kitchen? You're right. You're right. Yeah, what's the ethnicity? I didn't say. I, does it matter? Oh. Does it matter? Yeah. The executive producer says it does matter. But it does matter because are you going to have, you know, pig feet, oh, collard greens? Oh, and, you know, come on. You're going to have um, curry Chilin. chicken. You're going to have curry goat. You're going to have plantain. You're going to have Wow. Um, I think RJ could probably cook for you. <laughs> RJ could cook. Oh, I'm and glad I'm, I'm sure she'll be I'm black. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be the one to call my friends and family and say, All listen, right, let's bring, yep, over pot, right. bring, bring over you're a pot. Bring over a pot. Right. I'm trying to impress him and his family. So listen, hook, hook me a, up. Hook a sister up. That's right. You're bring, right. You're absolutely right. So why don't we just, dish. if no money, if money's an issue, exclude the money, potluck it with family yeah. and friends help. There you go. How's there that? Go. All right. I think we have time for one more. Okay, at work, there's a man who literally, literally spends his whole day talking to people. I don't care if he finishes his work or not. I am not a supervisor, but he is distracting me when he comes to my desk. When I say I have to get some work done, he'll say, what are you working on? And no matter what the answer, he's launched into a story about it. 
The worst part is his stories are interesting and I tend to laugh and find them funny. And then 35 minutes later, mm -hmm. I'm behind at work and annoyed. How can I tell him to go away? I'll tell you. Simply this. Bob or Karen, I got work to do. Exactly. I can't talk. Exactly. There you go. You're done. making it complicated. Yeah, done. Done. And then and then turn your eyes to the monitor and, and keep go do working. your work. And yeah. that may seem a little abrupt, but guess what? He'll move. He'll never do it again. I promise you that. Yeah, yeah, he'll move. I hope it isn't that no Fortune 500 company. Shoot. It doesn't matter what it is. He need to be working because you're trying to get some work done. <laughs> and they're paying you to work, Woo! not have a conversation, mm -hmm. you know? Agreed. So. All right, so we're out of time. Boy, This these these shows go by real, real fast. And we're also looking for sponsors. So if you're interested in sponsoring, any amount is wonderful that you can make donations to the accesstv.org. Um, network that would be wonderful. You can contact the, I believe, the executive uh, producers, Jason and McCauley and Aisha. They're also on there. You can reach out to them and get their information and send them. Donations are wonderful. They're tax deductible. Just give back to your community. Okay. So we're out of time. Remember this: the most important relationship starts with loving yourself first. But it seems like when I talk to you, the words get in the way.